turns out that if you liberate these prospective skin cells from a frog embryo, what they do is they could do many things. They could crawl away from each other. They could die. They could make a two-dimensional monolayer like in cell culture. Instead, what they do is they come together in, in a little ball. They organize such that um, the, the cilia, the little hairs that uh, on the outside of cells that, that normally move the mucus down the body of the frog, the hairs are pointing outward. And what it, what it does is it becomes self-motile because it uses the little hairs to, to, to um, row against the water. You sprinkle a bunch of loose skin cells into the dish, and so you provide them with this material. What they do is they run around and they collect the material into piles. Balls themselves become the next generation of xenobots. And when they mature, guess what they do? They run around, and do the same thing, and you get the next generation. There's never been selection to be a good xenobot. No other creature on Earth does kinematic replication. It's never been in their history to do that. Where, where does it come from? Because normally, when you ask about the shape and behavior of an organism, the answer is, oh, selection. Uh, you know, millions of years of, of being selected to do this and that. Well, there hasn't been any xenobots.